Now, here in Oklahoma, House Speaker Charles McCall and Senate Pro Tem Greg Tree plan to file a bill next week that would make impermissible occupation a crime. Fox 25's David Chasnoff been studying what the legislation entails. Joins us live from the Capitol. David, what does impermissible occupation mean? Out of a Wendy, that means anyone who enters the U.S. illegally, comes to Oklahoma, and stays here would be guilty. If House Speaker McCall and Senate Pro Tem Treat's proposed immigration bill passes, first-time violators of their law would be charged with a misdemeanor. That could mean spending up to a year in the county jail and or having to pay a fine up to $500. They would also have to leave the state within three days and could not return. If that person breaks the law again, they would face a felony charge, meaning two years in prison and or paying a fine up to $1,000. The bill would also prohibit municipalities from becoming sanctuary cities. Speaker McCall says in part, this legislation will make Oklahoma the least attractive state in the nation for illegal immigrants to come to. Pro Tem Treat adds, this legislation is absolutely necessary to keep Oklahomans safe while upholding the rule of law in our country. But Cindy Wynn with ACLU Oklahoma gives this proposal a much different review. We know that states cannot attempt to regulate immigration. That power belongs exclusively to Congress under the Constitution. So we know that this bill is blatantly unconstitutional. As policy director, Wynn says she will keep an eye on what happens with this bill at the state capitol. We know that this new bill is one of the most extreme anti-immigrant bills that we have ever read that was introduced in Oklahoma. Um, and we will use everything in our toolbox to make sure that our immigrant communities are safe in our state. She acknowledges that Oklahoma is following Texas's anti-illegal immigration efforts. We think that our communities should not have to live in fear every single day under the shadows of laws of hate. Wynn says the ACLU is fighting every day to make Oklahoma more welcoming, and anyone who feels they're being targeted should know they're not alone. Reporting live at the state capitol, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.